All right, guys, so this is going to be a quick video on the Eosheen TX16S. This is uh, basically well, very similar to the Radio Master TX16S, which I already reviewed, as well as the 16 TX16S Max, the custom version. So it's my theory. I don't have any actual um, proof, but I'm pretty sure this is uh, made by Radio Master under the direction of Yushin under their sort of their specifications because they Yushin has made a lot of custom modifications to this and I'm just going to point out the differences I will link in the video description the original review to the Radio Master TX16S that'll cover this radio in more detail I am just going to cover the differences here now if you disagree that this is not made by Radio Master and you have some sort of proof about that um do let me know in the comments because I'm pretty sure this is made by Radio Master. Now, if Yishin has somehow cloned the TX16S and even stolen the TX16S name um, blatantly like this, um, and you have proof of that, do let me know down in the comments below. That'd be an interesting story. Um, I'm sure people will just leave comments saying that they did with absolutely no explanation whatsoever. Yeah, those aren't very helpful comments, of course. Anyway, um, again, I'll, I'll link the the original review down in the description you get the same sort of foam box that the radio master comes in but of course it's branded e-sheen and you have a spare set of springs for the gimbals get a uh, screen protector for the same size 4.3 inch screen a usb c cable for data and charging you get the uh, 18650 battery tray. I think it takes also the 21700 batteries as well. They did include this Yishin branded receiver. So I think this is the R81. Yes, yeah, the du dual uh, antennas. This is the uh, Radio Master R81 receiver, which is rebranded under the Yishin name. Again, that's my. Theory, no proof, but that's I'm pretty sure that's the case, and uh, that looks exactly the same. Now, the first 300 customers that buy this radio, uh, link down in the description, um, will get this for free. And then after, if you're customer number 301, unfortunately, you won't be getting this. So I think what they did is they made a certain number of this in the first batch. I'm thinking probably like 500, and they stuck 300 of these in the first batch. And I'm thinking maybe some of these ones are reviewers, so possibly less than 300 um, are actually hidden inside here as a special little gift. But this, you know, this receiver is like nine bucks or whatever, not a huge deal. But if you're really price conscious, you know, that could be a big deal for you. All right, so let's look at the radio. Right off the bat, the biggest difference here is these this uh, six position switch. Basically, this button, these buttons are down below where the lanyard hook is instead of up here and on the original version. Now that may be easier to reach, not sure exactly. Um, the button layout is the same, but the buttons are different. So you have these nice round buttons here instead of the metal buttons. And then uh, these are a little bit raised over here instead of sort of flush. And uh, the screen is the same, same touch screen. Now I know that um, when the original TX16S came out, there was like a regular version with a non-touch screen. And then a plus version or an upgraded version with the touchscreen. I'm pretty sure that they only sell the one with the touchscreen now. The or the, uh, the the lower version isn't available anymore. So the touchscreen is just kind of available everywhere now. The price difference here between the Radio Master and the Yishin is like ten bucks. So you're saving like ten bucks going with the Yishin version. The plastic here is okay. I think it pretty much is identical to the Radio Master version not as nice as the max of course you know with the custom colors and everything and you have the same grips in the back same door in the back here for the battery uh, and of course the same cover for the module bay it comes with the same four in one internal multi-protocol module uh, so it's got the four chips it does have upgraded uh, firmware for the the module itself i think it's 1.3.1 something i'll show you that here in a second all of the other switches here at the top are exactly the same. The dials are the same. The detents on, or the stiffness on, on these front dials are pretty good. And the detents center pretty nice. The ones on the sliders on the side here are the same as the Radio Master. They don't really center. 
the detent is there but it doesn't really hold. It'll, it'll get pushed out of the way pretty easily on both sides. On the top you have the same antenna, it's not removable. So basically back and forth like that. You have a little cover here. As before, you got your trainer port and your USB-C uh, connector for the computer so you can use it as a joystick or USB storage if you have a micro SD card in the bottom and it does come with a micro SD card in the bottom. It's a 256 megabyte card. This USB-C port in the bottom here is for charging and it I, does uh, actually uh, charge the battery inside. And then you have your other uh, additional auxiliary pins there for like um, other functions. I think it's a UART or I it's the same as before. I've never actually used those in the old radio, so I'm not really sure what those are for yet. And then the other difference here on the top is I'd, these little screw holes here, which I think are, I think are M3 holes, with little metal screw holes here, um, possibly for some sort of 3D printed mount for like a monitor or something like that. As I'm thinking this is what this is for. I don't believe the original TX16S has that. And um, is that something also that's new? Now, when you go into the uh, radio settings here, you can see that it has like all these little scripts here, including the TBS agent lights. By the way, there's no modifications needed for this radio, just like the Radio Master for um, full speed crossfire. That comes uh, built in out of the box, no mods needed for that. But they do include these extra Lua scripts, including the TBS agent light already pre built into the radio. Oh, and then uh, the most important. And the biggest difference in hardware is the gimbals. So the gimbals themselves are the same in terms of the feel. The sticks are the same in the same terms, same in terms of the adjustment. The same aluminum, CNC aluminum fascia there. Hall sensor gimbals, very nice. But all of the adjustments in terms of the travel and the tension are adjustable on the front instead of in the back. So they have these, I think uh, these are point. Uh, uh, 1.5 millimeter hex drivers and you just need one of those to either loosen them or tighten them. Uh, I'll put up here on the screen what they are uh, in terms of clockwise versus counterclockwise and um, yeah there's basically adjustments for uh, the vertical and then for the horizontal it's going to be these holes here. So this is on the yaw axis and over here on the roll axis it is right there. So you do have to move the gimbal down to access that adjustment if you want to adjust the tension. Now the ratcheting that's in the left throttle here, and I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but that you still have to get into the back. You just take off this back cover here and then there's a hole in the back where you can loosen that up and uh, get rid of that tension if you don't want to have that. Now one of the things that they were advertising and uh, they, you know, they did put some extra stuff into this radio, is they have these built-in models. So this is like the Eugene T28. So as you know, Eugene, they make a bunch of stuff. They make all these little airplane models, the T28, the F4U, the Corsair, and the P51D, for example. Well, they have all of these models pre-programmed in the radio. So let's go here. And a model select here. And you can see these are the ones that are all the models, different Ishii models that they have come out recently. And they have these all pre-programmed with like, um, uh, let me just go back into the model itself. Yeah, so if you actually go into the model itself, they have actually have all of the settings in there, including like switches, um, all the channels in terms of like uh, the in terms of the, the positioning and also the direction should be correct. You have even, even like things like curves and special functions with uh with voices and then like throttle cut for example. All that stuff has been programmed in here, which is great. And I have um I have been able to bind it. So go in here. And they actually do have this, the correct protocol selected, the V761. So I'll go ahead and turn this on. And then you do have to hit the bind. There we go, bound. And then none of the channels seem to be working. I can't change any of the 
control surfaces or the throttle, nothing works here. It's disarmed. Changing the flight modes or armed. None of those seem to work well though. It does seem like it's bound and you can hear the flight controller is active. So it's bound, but for whatever reason, none of the channels are active. So I think I'm missing something here. And there is nothing in the instruction manual explaining some special switch. I've actually done, I've gone through all the switches here. Can I get this to actually do anything? I mean, it seems like they went through all this trouble to set up this model in, in such a way so it'll be like good to fly. You know, it'll work with this particular setup. But they didn't include instructions on how to get it to actually work past the binding stage. So I'm, I, I must be either missing something really obvious um, or they just screwed up something in the programming. I'm not sure. If somebody out there knows, let me know down in the comments because I'm, I'm kind of... I kind of actually just want to steal the model and put it into another radio because the setup is actually really nice for this, for these little toy planes. And I actually, I actually like the setup, but I can't seem to get it to work. So, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. They went to all this trouble to put this nice model in here with all these fancy settings, but they didn't even bother to include instructions in the box on how to actually properly get it to work. So, typically, Yushin, kind of frustrating, but yeah. It's in there. I'm sure I'm just probably missing something pretty obvious that they just didn't include the instructions for. So if you if you know what it is, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll uh, maybe I'll make a future video and pass it on to people because I just want to steal the model itself and put it into another radio. And actually, I want to put it into my T light so I can use it on that one instead of this one because I actually prefer these smaller radios over these big ones. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, yeah, bottom line, it's pretty much identical to the. Radio Master version with some minor changes, I just said, and then the gimbal adjustments being on the front um, is nice. Uh, if you want to make those quick adjustments without having to take the covers off the back, yeah, that's a that's a plus. Otherwise, not a whole lot of difference. Uh, the scroll wheel is pretty much the same. All the buttons feel pretty much the same. Operates pretty much the same. Uh, they have updated the, the firmware and they have, of course, the fancy Yishin models in here. But other than that, it's not a whole really no difference whatsoever. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. If any questions, let me know. Talk to you guys in the next one.